Hi, welcome to our new video. In this video we are going to show how to run Ethernet cable between floors. If you are installing new data cabling in your home or business, you want it to end up looking complete and professional. That's why we recommend terminating installed cable to a keystone jack, and install the jack into a wall faceplate. In fact, we have a whole other blog just about installing jacks and wall faceplates. In that article, an Ethernet cable is presented extending out through a hole in the wall. This article will provide some techniques for getting the cable inside the wall, and discuss some tools to make the job easier. In today's connected world, having a good internet connection is essential. But what if you live in a multi-story house or apartment and need to connect devices located on different floors? Running an ethernet cable from one floor to another may seem like a daunting task, but don't worry, it can be done without drilling. In this blog post, we'll guide you through some easy methods that don't require drilling, so keep reading to learn more about how to run Ethernet cable between floors without drilling. Can you run an Ethernet cable between floors without drilling? If you want to connect your devices between floors, running an Ethernet cable might be your solution. However, the thought of drilling holes for the cable can be daunting. Fortunately, there are ways to run an Ethernet cable that doesn't involve drilling. One method is by using existing gaps and duct work passages in your walls to thread the cable through. 5 Methods to Follow on How to Run Ethernet Cable Between Floors Without Drilling Method 1 Use Existing Conduits One of the easiest ways to run an Ethernet cable between floors without drilling is by using the existing conduits. Conduits are pipes or channels that are used to carry electrical wires or cables. If there's already a conduit connecting both floors, you can use that to pull the Ethernet cable through. Using the existing conduits All you need to do is attach a string or fish tape to one end of the cable and then use that to pull it through the conduit. Just make sure that the conduit is not already filled with other cables or wires, as this could damage them. Method 2 Use a hollow vacuum cleaner extension Another way to run an Ethernet cable between floors without drilling is by using a hollow vacuum cleaner extension. This method is more suitable for longer distances and works best if there's an existing hole or gap between the floors where the extension can pass through. Simply attach the Ethernet cable to the vacuum cleaner extension and use it to thread the cable through the gap. You can also use a string or fish tape to pull the cable through more easily. Method 3 Use Adhesive Cable Clips If there's no existing conduit or gap between floors, you can still run an Ethernet cable without drilling by using adhesive cable clips. These clips have a sticky backing and can be attached to walls, baseboards, or other surfaces, allowing you to run the cable along the wall or ceiling without drilling. Just make sure to choose a clip that's strong enough to hold the weight of the cable and won't damage the surface when removed. Method 4 Use Wireless Ethernet Extenders Next, if running an Ethernet cable between floors is just not practical, you can always use wireless Ethernet extenders. These devices use your existing electrical wiring to transmit the Ethernet signal between floors, eliminating the need for any cables. Ezoic All you need to do is plug the Ethernet extender into an electrical outlet on each floor and connect the devices you want to use to it. While this method may not be as reliable or fast as a wired connection, it's still a good alternative to drilling holes and running cables. Method 5 Use a local network Finally, you can use a local network if you don't need to connect two floors wirelessly but still want to avoid drilling holes. This is also known as linking or bridging two networks. To do this, you'll need a router and switch on each floor and will need to configure the network settings on each device. This is a more complicated setup, but it's still viable for running an Ethernet cable between floors without drilling. You will need a router and switch. That's it. You've now learned 5 different methods on how to run Ethernet cable between floors without drilling. While running a wired connection requires some planning and preparation, it's still the most reliable way to ensure your network is performing optimally. With these methods, you can easily set up a wired connection that will last many years. Thanks for watching.